Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Simple Geometry Part 3. In the previous video we looked at three different types of angles. They were the sharp angle between 0 and 90, the blunt angle between 90 and 180 and the square angle which was 90 degrees. We also did look at we did mention the straight angle which is basically a straight line. Now look at these examples here in real life of this straight angle. Can you see this ruler? Just about every student and many people have rulers and that edge there is straight. So here is an example of a straight line or a straight angle because it's 180. Also the pencil that's like a straight line so there's a pretty good example of a straight angle. Now we have the full rotation or revolution which we did mention. Remember that goes around and it forms a full circle. The picture to the left shows a typical wall clock. Here it is here. When the second hand or the minute hand do one full revolution that represents 360 degrees. Okay, so when this second hand goes all the way around, when the minute hand goes all the way around, and also when the hour hand, but that takes a lot longer, when that goes all the way around, those represent 360 degrees. Car wheels do thousands of revolutions during a long trip. Music CDs do thousands of revolutions when all the songs on them are being played. So this little slide here just shows everyday examples of how full revolutions occur or full rotations and there are many many more examples. What I've got here are some interesting little exercises and I've got some questions for you. Now I'll explain those to make sure you know what's going on and then you can pause this slide for as long as you want to give you a chance to answer the questions. So the first one how many square angles are there in a full revolution? Now you know that a square angle is 90 and you know that a full revolution is 360 so that will enable you to answer that one. How many straight angles are there in a full revolution? You know that a straight angle has 180 degrees. You know that a full revolution is 360. That enables you to answer that. How many degrees are there in two square angles? That's easy to answer because you know that one square angle is 90. How many degrees are there in three square angles? How many degrees are there in four square angles? And how many degrees are there in two straight angles? You can answer that one because you know that one straight angle is 180. So pause this slide here for as long as you want put the six answers on a sheet of paper and very shortly I'll go to the next slide which gives you the six answers now let's go and have a look at the six answers and here they are so how many square angles are there in a full revolution? Four. 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90. How many straight angles are there in a full revolution? There are two of them because one of them is 180 and you do another 180 that gives you the full revolution so the answer is 2. How many degrees are there in two square angles? One square angle is 90. Two square angles gives you another 90. Okay so there must be 180 degrees because 90 plus 90 is 180. How many degrees are there in three square angles? 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270. And how many degrees are there in four square angles? 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360. And how many degrees are there in two straight angles? Well, if one straight angle is 180, therefore two straight angles must be 360. So this video has continued to look at the idea of angles and you've had a nice little quiz to look at and I'm pretty confident you got all those correct.